So what exactly is the truth? Was Kenya Moore, formerly of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, fired or did she quit on her own? Kenya has taken to social media to say goodbye to Team Twirl and say, you know, she decided to focus on other things. She's speaking her truth. Well, now our friends over at lovebescott.com are exclusively reporting, well, no, the investigation determined that Kenya allegedly violated NBC Universal's code of conduct. Welcome back to the Campire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. As you can see, I'm still in Boston, so shout out to all of you that came to our Boston show at City Winery. Shout out to City Winery. Shout out to all of you. This tour is not about, you know, just going on tour. You know, a lot of people are going on tour, you know, from the singers, the rappers, to the podcast, content creators. No, this tour really started because when we went to London and we did that impromptu meetup, meeting you guys, connecting with you guys, understanding who our community is, has been so uplifting and enriching for me. Coming to Boston was just that as well. Hearing your personal stories about how the content has changed your life or helped you get through something has meant the world to me. And hearing your stories, a lot of you made me laugh last night. So thank you to all of you that came out to our Boston show and I will be back. Boston kept saying, are you gonna come back? Are you gonna come back? Boston, I liked it. I mean, I'm not, I didn't spend much time in Boston, but I liked it, I liked it. Anyways. At, we did talk about this Kenya Moore situation extensively during our Boston live show. And, you know, we gave the whole, there was someone in the room that had no idea about the Kenya story. So I had to walk them through from beginning to end how it happened. So we're not going to do that here. Go watch the videos. However, what we haven't talked about since the news broke that Kenya was allegedly fired was that Entertainment Tonight was reporting that no, Kenya decided to walk away. Apparently what they're saying and what the streets are saying is that Kenya apparently did not like the way that Bravo handled the situation with Brittany Edie in regards to alleged threats and situation that she had with her during the, se during the season. That's what the narrative was. Kenya took to her social media and posted some beautiful photos of, you know, who are, are we love, we love Brooklyn. And as you know, Kenya has a lot to celebrate right now. She's divorcing Mark, she's moving on, she's getting child support, she didn't have to give him any of her homes or give him spousal support. Either one has to, doesn't have to give spousal support. But Kenya captions this photo, of several photos of Brooklyn. She says, thank you all for the support, hashtag team twirl. My heart is full and my conscience is clear. She says, so many false claims hiding behind anonymous sources, all this conversation and no facts being reported. A sidebar, I mean, one fact we can't deny was the photos and the video that we saw from the event. Just saying, because that was pretty bad in itself. That's not what could have gotten her fired, but that was bad in itself, just just in a standpoint of just what we heard. So she says, all this conversation and no facts being reported, if a claim or source was valid, would they need to hide? My life is blessed. My daughter and I will continue to thrive in a non-toxic environment where we feel appreciated and most importantly, protected. So this is where people are saying that Kenya is saying that she felt as if the network did not protect her, okay? She says, thank you, God, for covering us. The rumor and narrative, she, this is, I guess this was, this was edited. She says, the rumors and narrative about me randomly showing explicit photos or revenge P is 1000% untrue. I have proof and will share soon. This is not over. Part of me wants this to be over because it's just sort of like, oh God, here we go. Here's another Nini situation. Because as you may have heard, allegedly Kenya is going to sue for uh, not defamation but discrimination which is interesting because when she was on Carlos's podcast she talked about how silly it was for um, Nini to do something like that all right um, now, our friends over at lovebescott.com are reporting because they initially had an exclusive adding a little bit more information in regards to, nope, 
Kenya was not, she didn't just walk away. She was actually fired. Uh, they're considering bringing Sheree or Phaedra back. They also gave us details in regards to what happened at this event. Apparently the cast and crew upped and left. The only person that stuck around was Drew Sedora, allegedly. Well, now lovebeescott.com is reporting that Kenya was suspended, then fired after the investigation determined she violated their code of conduct. So they write this. They said that Kenya, Kenya Moore's time with the Real Housewives of Atlanta has come to an end after she was briefly suspended, then fired. We previously reported that Kenya was fired and the door for her future return was closed. And now we're back to clarify exactly what led to the decision. They said, we'll start with the pow, pow, pow threat allegations. Sources close to the situation tell us that Kenya did raise claims of an alleged uh, pow, pow, pow threat made by newbie Brittany Eady before her hair spa event, but production investigated and couldn't substantiate the claims. Important to note, Bravo has done multiple investigations, including one with Ramona Singer, and those weren't substantiated either. Just saying, the most recent one, Andy Cohen allegations. I don't know about that one. The Ramona one, it's hard, it's hard to, to determine, but they said the Andy Cohen investigation also, they didn't substantiate any claims against him. There was no indication of Kenya refusing to film or taking some time off. In fact, lovebyscott.com sources say that she continued to plan her hair spa event with no added precautions or additional concerns for her safety. And Brittany Eady did attend the event. However, she ended up leaving early. They write, they said part of the planning included blowing up uh, compromising photos of Britney to display for attendees. They, this is a quote. It was clear Kenya went through great lengths to antagonize her, another source tells them. Those photos aren't easily accessible on the internet, otherwise they'd be circulating right now. I thought that because I was like, this is if they're publicly accessible i'm surprised especially on twitter that we haven't seen these photos we've seen photoshop photos but we haven't seen actual photos not that i'm asking to i'm just saying she not only got the photos from somewhere but also got posters made we talked about this on in boston did she go to the staples or did she send her assistant to the staples to do that and did the person helping her look at that and say what in the okay only, only only god knows what those staples and office max people have seen people you know blow up she not only got the photos from somewhere but she also got posters made so that's not something you would do to someone who allegedly threatened you with a pow 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 the source continues everyone especially production was shocked that kenya would do this in front of a room full of people i'm still shocked i told you when i heard this kenya's not going to do that at her event she'll do it at your event she's not going to do that at her event until we saw footage, until more stories and more confirmation and more sources confirmed that this is what happened. Again, Kenya denies. It's no secret that Bravo NBC Universal has been under fire in recent months facing allegations of allowing misconduct. After Kenya's stunt, she was suspended from further filming while production determined whether or not her actions were in violation of her contract. As it turns out, production found that Kenya's actions violated their, quote, code of conduct. Remember I told you, they recently updated their policies and procedures because of the reality TV reckoning. And they forward those policies and procedures and asked their third-party production companies to do the same. They said Bravo never accused Kenya of revenge P. That was never what the investigation was about. A third source close to production tells lovebyscott.com. It was about determining if Kenya's actions involving explicit images violated the code of conduct, and they did. She can point fingers all she wants, but she has nobody to blame but herself. So they continue, they said, while outside sources say that Kenya's considering legal actions, we're told neither production nor the network are concerned because no one decided to show those images but her. Because you know there are rumors that production may have been involved. Production is now trying to figure out where to go and whether or not Kenya previously filmed scenes will be included in the season at all. Again, this, this was a third week of filming. They could edit her out. We're told Kenya's episodes leading up to the event could still air, but the event footage is more than likely to be scrapped. They're not showing that. They're not showing that at all. There's a lot of chatter around whether or not Kenya's been fired, and she has. Her time with the network is done, and the decision was made for her, according to lovebeescott.com. 
I know a lot of people, Team Twirl, fans, you know, everyone's speculating on what happened here. I really don't believe that Kenya would walk away from this this platform. This is a huge platform for her. We've seen signs right before the reboot was announced that Kenya didn't seem happy. She did that Carlos interview. She had some social media tweets that we were like, is Kenya good over there? Is she happy with the network? Is she not coming back? Then we heard about a reboot and we weren't sure if Kenya was coming back. Then Candy decided not to return and then we heard Portia was coming and then finally yeah, there were rumors that Kenya was coming back of course probably contract negotiations and she ended up coming back word on the street she was not one of their top choices no matter how team twirl feels about it that is what the word on the street at the time was I feel like Kenya has brought a lot over the years the same way I feel that Nini has brought a lot over the years but as I always say with any employer, doesn't matter if it's entertainment or your job, we are all replaceable at the end of the day. Not, not to ourselves, not to our moms, <laughs> but the, to these corporate environments, we are all replaceable. And at the end of the day, Bravo were, may have been looking for an excuse. And I see all of your examples of, well, what about this one or what about that one? A lot of what you're pointing out happened before they updated their policy and procedures even though in their policy and procedures a lot of the behavior that has happened on on this network went against those policy policies and procedures but it's a different time i don't understand why people are trying to find an excuse to justify kenya's alleged behavior again kenya has denied any of these allegations I, that's important to note I do hope Kenya moves forward and, you know, prosper. She's obviously a talent. She will always be a part of, of Real Housewives of Atlanta's, you know, history. You can't deny that. Some people might say the positive of, of RHOA's history or the negative. We will have that conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.